Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Here at the main, we have the main off and the bathroom. We have power on all that. Going into the kitchen, everything, all the lights have power. My fan does. The TV's got power. Got my computer going. So all this is off that little generator that's running. And you can see, running, going inside the house. What you're about to see is nothing that you should ever try doing yourself. I repeat, do not try any of the harebrained things I do. Don't ever do it. North Carolina is cleaning up from the worst flooding ever on record for the state. More than 100 people are dead from Helene, a number that's still expected to rise. Hundreds more are missing, and roughly 2.1 million customers are without power across the region. Now, the reason I've done this is because we got hit with Hurricane Helene, and my local Lowe's, and everywhere within a one-hour drive was out of generators, either shut down, no power. I did have this little portable one, so I just made my own drop cord and plugged it in because I didn't have power for like a week, and you couldn't buy a generator, you couldn't do anything uh it, the traffic was ridiculous there were so many trees down you couldn't go anywhere so if you're in a pinch this is very easy to do very easy to do and pretty simple just need two drop cords and a generator is really all you need so this is a 14 gauge heavy duty drop cord i had two of them all i did was cut the ends off the female ends and uh tied them together to make one drop cord that's Male to male. Now, the first step is to make sure you have the right generator. This is just a little handheld one. You gotta make sure you have the right one, whether you got a floating or bonded neutral generator. This one does not say on it anywhere. It doesn't say it on the front, it doesn't say anywhere. So, in order to tell if you have a floating neutral or a bonded neutral generator, you can use a voltmeter and stuck, stick the two probes in the neutral side and the ground side and see if uh, they're connected. So this will work with any floating neutral generator. If your generator is floating neutral, it means the ground and the neutral are not hooked together. Floating, it's going to work whenever you hook your house up. No issues. Now, if your generator is a bonded neutral, it's still going to work as long as it's not GFCI protected. If it's GFCI protected, as soon as you plug it in the house, it's going to trip the breaker. Um, if it's a bonded neutral and it does not have GFCI protection on it, you should be able to hook it up and it's going to run fine. To check to see if your generator is floating neutral or bonded neutral, you're going to check the neutral wire and the ground and see if they're open or closed. Got it in continuity, so it's open circuit, closed circuit. I'm going to stick one in in the neutral, one in in the ground, nothing happens. Neutral, ground, nothing happens. So this generator is a floating neutral generator. If I, if I stuck it in here and here, and it went to over here, if it went to zero, that means this one would be a bonded neutral generator. Now for your drop cord. I had two heavy duty drop cords. That's just a simple two drop cords, cut the female ends off, tie them together. One end's gonna go into our generator, one end is going to get plugged into any outlet on the house and it'll back feed the house into the panel and light up one half of the panel. So one side of the panel will have power and everything on that side of the panel will get power. Now, after you've cut the female ends off of both your drop cords and tied them in together, you're going to make sure that you've got it wired correctly. So we're in continuity again. So it's open circuit, closed circuit. So see if we got it wired up. This should be going to that one. This one should be going to that one. This one should be going to that one. So we're going to put, test this one and this one, and it changes, goes to zero. Those two are wired correctly. Now let's go to the right terminal, goes to zero. Let's go to the left terminal, goes to zero. So the drop cord is wired correctly. One end is going to go into the generator, one end is going to go into the outlet inside the house and back feed into the panel, and the panel will get power on one side of the one side of the breaker and then everything on that side of the panel is going to get power now let's say you're in a real pinch and you can't get the ends to make your own drop cord you can't buy a drop cord or don't have one what you could do if you have an old scrap piece of wire and cut this back strip it to where the ends are bare and then separate the three strands and physically plug the three strands in there 
uh, just bare wire to your generator or you could use a drop cord use the one end and the female end cut it off uh, strip it back twist it to where it's uh, a little bit rigid and stick those three into the generator or the outlet now before you hook up your generator you want to go and make sure your main is off so now the power is off at the meter base so my meter base that's the main i actually have a 100 amp circuit breaker feeding into the panel inside the house so if i'm back feeding i want to go ahead and turn this one off too because i don't want anything from the inside of the house flowing out and energizing anything in here so we got the main off it won't go back into the grid and then i've got this one off going into the panel inside the house so once the house's panel gets power it won't back feed into any of this other stuff and now that i cut the power off outside i'm in the inside panel i got my phone's flashlight for light i'm going to go ahead and turn off the main so when we back feed this and this thing lights up with power it doesn't go back outside another thing you're going to want to do is turn off all your 220s so all of my 220s are off because whenever i crank it and plug the generator and it's going to light up one side of this breaker panel you don't want it to jump to the other side and uh power all your 220 stuff with 120 volts because it could make up the energy deficit by pulling more amperage it can melt wires it could burn up anything that's supposed to have 220 but it's only getting 120. now that your main and everything's off you've got the right drop cord size to your generator you know if your generator is floating versus bonded neutral we're going to go ahead and plug this into the side of the house and this can go into any outlet in your house really i'm just using the porch because it's the easiest and closest to the generator it's going to back feed and light up uh, half half the panel so one end goes in there and then one end is going to go in here i'm going to go ahead and crank the generator and let it get idled up first So now it's running, it's in eco mode, right here. So when it's in eco mode, it's a, when it's in eco mode, it's a digital inverter. It's only gonna rev up or down based on the load. So eco mode on, it's gonna rev down. When it needs it, it'll rev back up. So right now, got most of the lights turned off in the house, but Got power to that. You can see I've got power to that. So I don't have power to that one. That must be on one side of the panel that doesn't have power. So like I said, half the stuff in your house is going to have power. Half of it ain't. So the refrigerator does not have power. It's on a side of the breaker panel that doesn't have power. So I just got a outlet tester and you can see refrigerator don't have power this doesn't have power so if i wanted the refrigerator to run i could just pull it out and run a drop cord to an outlet that does have power so you can see that outlet does have power so you're basically just powering one half of the outlets in your house that one has power we know the lights in there do not have power let's check this outlet see if it has power so that outlet is dead as well. So you could either run drop cords from an outlet that does have power to stuff that doesn't have power, or option number two, I'll show you how we're gonna jump to both sides of the panel. So now let me show you how to get power to both legs of the panel. Uh, right now, the generator is running and we've got power on one side or the other. I'm not sure which one yet, but we've got all of our 220s, the, uh, the stove, the water heater, the well pump, the dryer, all our 220 stuff is off, so it's only, right now that generator's got power to one, one side of this. I'm going to go ahead and take this panel off, and I'll show you how to get power to both sides to power your entire house. So our generator's running right now. You can see up here, we've got power on that leg, and down here, on this leg, no power. That leg, we got power. So only half of it has power right now, so everything that just happens to be hooked on to this side is going to have power everything hooked on to this side is not so if you're not happy with uh, only having one side of the panel hot and you don't want to run drop cords from the items in your house that don't have power to an outlet that does have power you could on your 220 side unhook let's see, this is my water heater 
you could unhook the two wires here get you a little strip of wire pull out one of the wires and strip it and you could put uh, one end here one end here and flip the breaker on what that'll do is this is uh, hooked onto both legs of power so only one of these legs would have power uh, and this is clipped onto both of them if you put this in there let's say this is the one that's got power and it's going to try and send it out it would go into the bottom of this wrap around to the top of this and go right back in here then it goes back into the panel and it would light up the other leg of power and if you done that you would have power on both sides of the panel you know just make sure all your 220 stuff is off your mains off and you would have power on both sides and everything in your house that runs off of 110 would have power now i'm going to make a separate video on how to hook up a whole home generator power system so i got a generator ran off propane plug it in there it's hardwired into the panel and then you got the circuit breaker interlock kit and here's your generator breaker i have a separate video on how to hook up a generator to power your whole home in a separate video all right to prove that this works this is going to be a continuous video i'm not going to edit it or cut it here at the main we have the main off you can see that's the on position that's the off position you see all my 220 stuff is flipped off so right now i think it's that side that had power half of this uh panel has power and it just so happens that most of my lights in the house are on that side that has power so all of my lights are on here in the bedroom let's check this out let's see if it has power so that outlet has power and the bathroom we have power on all that let's check to see if this one has power it does going into the kitchen everything all the lights have power now the refrigerator it does not have power and outlet here does not have power so if i wanted to run the refrigerator i just pull it out and plug the refrigerator into an outlet that does have power like this one so i've got all the lights on in here in here my recess lights are, are do not have power but my fan does the tv's got power let's check this outlet here so that's one of the outlets that does not have power the recess lights in here don't work but the ceiling fan does got my computer going so all this is off that little generator that's running one continuous video hey cub and you can see running going inside the house and i'll take you around the house to show you the breaker panel to show you that i'm not getting any power in from uh the power lines totally running everything you just saw running in the house with that generator so now coming to the back of the house and you can see my main is turned off and inside the sub panel right here this one is turned off so very easy to do it's just a drop cord mail to mail plug it in one side of your house plug it in the generator bam you got power